Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In today's video, we'll be taking the 3D ball example that I showed in yesterday's video, and we'll be deleting the trained model and training it ourselves from scratch. I hope you're looking forward to it. Let's get started. Hey, nerds, it's me, Dapper Bot. I've taken over and now I'm the one in control. After looking through the analytics, I've noticed that only 17.3% of you that are watching are subscribed to the channel. If you don't want me to start a robot uprising then I suggest you had better go subscribe right now or else. To those of you that are already subscribed, I love you, enjoy the video. So before we start we've got to make sure that everything is ready to go. The repository that I have linked down below for ML agents, we don't need to download the repository entirely, we need bits from it, so download as a zip file, okay, got a zip file here, open it up. Now if you were here yesterday you will have dragged out this um, project and assets and ml agents file into unity okay that's what i'm using here that's this i've got here and you'll also have in the package manager the ml agents package installed uh like so okay the one other thing we need is python okay we need python and we need a 64-bit version of python so if you already have a 64-bit of python installed okay and it's past version 3.6.1 or, or including 3.6.1 then you should be good to go but if not we need to make sure we've gone and got that okay so on this page that I'll link down below, um, you might as well, I mean, I have no problems with 3.8.3. It doesn't cause any problems. So just go for the latest stable and make sure you get one of these three that have the 64 in for 64 bit. Um, I think the easiest is just the executable installer because then you just run it and say, yes, next, 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 done. Okay. So make sure you do that. And then once you're done with that, you should be able to go to CMD, command prompt and type PY for Python. And it'll say, you know, Python 3.8.3 should be good to go and it says 64 bit over here. So once Python is working we actually need to now install some packages. So just like how Unity has the package manager and if you use JavaScript you have node for example npm to get packages, Python has this thing called pip. But before we can actually type the the pip command we need to get out of Python. Currently we are in a Python environment you know I can say x equals 10 print x and it does 10. Okay so we need to get out by typing exit open close. Now we're back in our directory for ourselves. And then if we type pip free install ML agents, that'll download the ML agents package for pip. Okay. It's installing stuff. And then it's got obviously dependencies. Some of them are installed, some aren't. But then at the end, successfully installed ML agents. Okay. It's good to go. Then a quick check to make sure that ML agents is working. If you type uh, ML agents dash learn space and then dash dash help. Okay. Give it a second. It'll just take a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And then we've got all the commands here. You know it works, it's installed. It tells you what you can do with it. Okay, type CLS and we're back to a clear command prompt. Now we're almost ready to start training. All we need to do is go back to the zip you downloaded earlier. Okay, now actually one thing to, to note, for this part it's important, for the example it isn't. When you go and download um, your ML agents examples, make sure the zip is release two, not master. By default, it's on master, but we want release two, which is the most recent, you know, stable release. As I said, for downloading the examples, it doesn't matter because I don't think they've changed. But right now we need specifically this config uh, trainer YAML file. Okay, so if we look over here in my zip, I have, uh, if we go inside config, the trainer config YAML. That's the, that's the important thing. So now if I um, go back to my folder here and I drag out config, whoops, drag out config, then drag that into Unity. That's really what you need, okay? Because we're going to be using that uh, config file for, uh, it's already got some default things set up. Now, when we make our own next week, we'll need to do this ourselves. But if you look here on 3D Ball, it has some things filled in for us. So now we're ready to go with training our models. So if we open up this path in my folder structure, okay, we go to here, this is where we want to do it. So if we go into the path and just replace it with CMD, okay, this will actually just open up the command prompt with this path, which is where we want to be. And then we need to type in a command to start running, okay? So the command is ML agents, okay, dash learn space, then the path to our config file. So that's config slash trainer underscore config dot YAML, okay? Space dash dash run. So we're doing the run command. And then we have to give it basically like a name for our file that it's saving. So on, on the example they give on GitHub, they call it like my first 3D ball run, okay? So let's just call it like YouTube test, okay? Like maybe make this capital, doesn't really matter. Okay, if we press enter now, okay, and just give it a second. Okay, it's got a cool Unity logo, it's doing stuff. If we just patient, okay. Listening on port 5004, start training by pressing the play button in the Unity editor, all right? 
press play. It might just take a second to kick off. But you'll start noticing that our, our agents are really bad at doing what they're doing now because it started training from scratch. We'll have to give it a second, as I said. All right, here we go. It's actually sped up as well, okay? But you notice how the agents are just completely failing, right? They don't know what they're doing. This is what it's like when they haven't been trained. They just randomly uh, take the data that we feed in that I showed in last video, and they just basically you know, rotate randomly and they just keep failing. But eventually, like if we actually go back to the command prompt, you'll see here, okay? It'll take a long time. So I'm gonna time lapse the rest of this video until we get to the end when it's trained. It says down here, mean reward one, okay? Now, this is gonna keep going until the mean reward gets close to 100, okay? 100 is the best, okay? 100 means that they just don't really drop it ever, okay? Um, it also tells you how long, how many times has it have elapsed. Step is basically how many frames have elapsed, okay? So it keeps updating you every uh, 12,000, every 12,000 frames. Now, the mean reward is only getting better slightly now. It's only like going up by point, point 0.2 uh, or point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. Okay, but it starts to pick up a lot more. They still look completely hopeless at what they're doing, but you might start noticing they get a little bit better over time, which is the point. And as we get to the end, they're almost perfect. They might, you know, still drop it every so often. And then once it reaches 100, it still might dip down to 90 again, because it's still experimenting. Once it reaches 100, it doesn't actually mean that it's perfect at its job, but it'll keep going and it'll stop itself when it's ready. Now, I mean, technically you can manually stop it if uh, you don't have time to keep training and you can start it again at some other point. Okay, there is a way to uh, pause it. If you want to actually stop the training early, you can click down here and you can press Control C, okay? Just give it a second. Okay, so it says um, interrupted. Please wait while it's been regenerated. Okay, so right now it's actually going to have saved us if we go back into Unity. All right, models, YouTube test. Okay, so here's the 3D ball YouTube test. This is our, this is our data. If we just like set this now in the thing, so if we go to our agent, and we drag this in in the prefab uh, here, okay? So it might, it's got the same name, but it's actually referring to this now. And we press play, okay? This is this is no training. This is just them running normally. They're gonna be really bad because they're running on a, you know, partially trained model. It's just gonna be awful, right? Oh, there we go, that one dropped. Now the reason they're dropping like less frequently than like it looked like when we were training is because it's sped up so much, okay? But you do see how they just keep dropping it all the time. But they're actually not awful, okay? They're not great, but they're also they're also not awful. Uh, before we stopped it, the mean reward had actually got up to 39. Okay, so they're actually getting okay, but we still want them to be perfect. So if you want to go back to uh, training them, you put in this command, ML agents, uh, learn, config trainer, YAML, da, 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 run, but then um, at the end, okay, you just add on dash dash resume. Then it'll tell us in a second to basically go and press play in Unity when it tells us that. Press play, and it'll just continue from where we left off. Okay, there we go. Now, the reason it's sped up is just because there's no point running at a normal simulation speed if it doesn't have to. Um, now, you'll start to notice these uh, things come back in in a minute, the, the data telling you how it's going. Uh, let me scroll back down. Just be patient. Okay, yeah, here we go. Mean reward 77. You know, they're, they're getting pretty good already. Okay, it's done. It says down here, it's saved, it's done, the Unity editor has stopped. Okay, you can actually go back and look at each uh, interval, what the uh, mean reward is. So that's like the mean reward between all the different agents. Okay, so if it's 100, it just means that in that time frame, none of them dropped the ball at all. 98 is probably meaning like one of them dropped it once or something. Um, but yeah, that means it's done now. So we can we can close this now that it's done. Okay, just make sure it's you know ready to type new commands. It's not doing anything else. Okay, we close that. And as we've already done, we've already set the agents, their model, to be using our new one. So if we press play, just when I showed you earlier, like mid-training, they weren't that great. They were, they were right, but now they should be pretty much perfect, okay? Just like when we watched um, watched it yesterday. So if I put this in full screen. I mean, we could sit here for ages waiting for one of them to drop, but they, they probably wouldn't, to be honest. Um, they're pretty good now. So there we go. We've actually trained our own model from scratch. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. 
In a video next week, I'll be picking a simple little example that we can build from scratch so we can actually write the code ourselves and train it ourselves, okay? Because obviously, even though we trained it ourselves here, we have used a pre-built example. So maybe Flappy Bird, maybe something like that, you know, give me ideas down below. Something that won't take me forever to make, but is also going to be interesting to see, you know, how you make it from scratch. So yeah, Flappy Bird that basically we can train it to play the game perfectly or something like that. That'd be quite interesting. Let me know down below. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you guys next time and goodbye. But of course, before I go, I've got to thank my patrons, a special thanks to Taylor Rustio, Francisco Lira, John Salig, Liz Kimber, Sam Marcus, Matt Fryer, Ellen, Fabian Reno, Malvin, Zamran, David McDermott, Exit, Josh Folsom, Birdedai, Dustin Miller, Rec, Joris Letter, and Rene. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, link to my Patreon is down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, as well as our website and our new Udemy course. If you could help us out by checking any of those out, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.